as you know honorable high court had ordered that ratnabhandar should be opened and be handed over to asi for urgent repairs in 9 2018 the then collector informed that the keys of ratnabhandar are missing from the treasury that's a strange incident it normally treasury is the safest place where the most valuable documents and goods are kept under the surveillance of treasury officer and the collector subsequently uh, the collector made a statement that duplicate keys have been found in the district record room with a sealed envelope and the word duplicate keys perhaps was written on that that was 2018 subsequently as everybody knows the state government uh, under the instruction of high court a commission of inquiry was appointed and raghuvir das commission has given its report already to the state government in the year 2000 uh, i think listen it has been given now a strange situation has arisen if the government came to know that the keys were missing this is a very serious matter so what should have been done is to immediately open the ratna bhandar either by using the available keys or by breaking open the locks that should have been the normal thing to do however for the last 6 years it did not happen so obviously suspicion was created in the minds of crores of devotees of lord jagannath that how could this happen and why is the government not taking steps to verify whether the jewelries and ornaments and other valuables are actually there or something has happened this should have been done the right you know in 2018 itself so this uh, has created you know a very sensational kind of a you know, situation now now when bjp uh, prime minister came he had given a clear cut announcement that if bjp comes to power then the ratnavandar will be open and the valuables will be verified now soon after the government came the a high level committee was formed as you know and when the high level committee gave a sop standard operating procedure and a 11 member committee was constituted to go into the ratna bandar and find out the situation the uh, committee headed by no one else than justice vishwanath rath entered the ratna bandar in a chamber and has given reports which is in the public uh, in the in, in the media has already been expressed he has clearly told that the so called keys duplicate keys or any other keys which the you know state government or the administration had in mind and they were telling repeatedly for the last 6 years that is available did not fit into the locks okay and then many of the locks were also perhaps open or not, and the almirahs are not in good condition that's a pretty serious matter anyway we have uh, yesterday gone into the whole thing in detail and sop has been finalized so that we will in detail take account of the jewelries and valuables available now that is part 1 now asi has already been handed over the ratnabhandar you know the rooms and they have started their repairs and as you know it's a technical matter and they will do it in the meantime temporarily the jewelries have been shifted to a safer place within the that you know, ratnabhandar premises because you cannot take it out as per law now the point is when it has been established now that the so called keys which were claimed to be keys and duplicate keys are not actually true it's a hoax i don't know why for last 6 years this hoax was believed by the then government and the ratnamundar was not open okay as you know that uh, our bharatiya naya sangeeta has three you know different three separate kind of a stages of definition of theft there is a section 378 which says that if someone has the intention to commit theft it will also be it will also come within the definition of theft and 379 section says that if somebody has attempted to make a theft then it is punishable by you know imprisonment of 3 years and fines etc now think of it somebody has definitely 
plan to take away the key from the treasury that is established now and those keys are a hoax that also was proven when the 11 member committee entered into the thing and justice vishwanath rath has told the media very very clearly now when this has been proven this has been proved and established automatically that means there has been a kind of a some kind of a intention to th for committing theft or there is somebody has made a an, might have made an attempt or he may he might have failed and perhaps either th thrown the key somewhere in the you know record room or something as you know district record room is not a secure place it is not guarded it is meant to store the old files of the collectorate that's all so that's not a place where you know the the keys could possibly be found but it has been found so my uh, observation it is quite you know obvious it's not my personal observation it is it is my observation as per the provisions of law that since after the opening of ratna bhandar these facts have come to light it calls for a i mean the the appropriate uh, you know level of the government will take a decision what to do about it after the things are over if we really find that there is some kind of a sort of sorties then obviously it will amount to prove that there has been some kind of a kind of a theft or you can say embezzlement or whatever there is a separate matter like we cannot say now it will wait but you have doubted that it is a theft see it is not a question of doubting it is not a question of doubting anymore for 6 years this so called case mystery was not unraveled by the didan government had they opened the you know the the ratnamandar at that time this controversy wouldn't have arisen if in my home i have kept my ornaments in a particular box and for some reason that he gets dislocated anyone you and i will go and approach a, a, a you know this locksmith and get the trees get get the locks open and verify the, the contents it's a very use, normal procedure now the suspicion you know came that why this simple thing was not done for 6 years what was the intention whose intention was this you know all these things will come up. so i of course you, you cannot rule out of course justice bishwanath rath has given till account and honorable minister of law he has already told in so many words okay that you know if this is what comes and you find a kind of a you know theft or pilferage or embezzlement it you know the strictest action will be taken so our honorable minister prithviraj harichandran has already made a public announcement yesterday anybody will say that yes, they should be inquiring to i mean nothing very this thing so that was the point i was making yesterday